So this is what the whole piece is going to sound like all put together. What do you do when you're bored? You tap your fingers, don't you? Just kind of go like this. Oh, I can't wait until such and such happens. This is exactly the technique we're going to use for this piece. All right, look on your keyboard. You have patterns of two and three black keys. If you're sitting in the middle, I want you to count up until you see the second set of three black keys. And between the second and third one, put your third finger there. All right, and here's what we're going to do. Play this one time. And now we're going to start drumming our fingers a little bit. See what I just did? Two, one, then put your third finger over and continue like that. Ready? It looks hard, but it's really not bad. It's like drumming your fingers at the doctor's office. Okay, now we're gonna do the same kind of thing with a little bit different, ready? See what I just did? All right, and we're gonna continue that a little bit. See what I did? I'm using my three, two, one. Okay, and then we're gonna do one more of these that are a little bit different. See what I just did? Two, one, three, all right. And then we're gonna put your hand over here like this. All right, so just three fingers, we're gonna tap them around one more time. Three, two, one, and then three, two, and the one is going down. And now, go up, put your second finger over here. Cool, all right. Now, left hand, this is what I want you to do. Again, look for that A, one, two, three black keys. It's right below the middle of the keyboard. Put your fourth finger here, second finger here, first finger over here. A, C, and E. So play that all together. Now let's take that same shape, move it over one note down. One more time, move it over down. Now, I want you to keep these two notes on top and just change this using your pinky. Let's do that sequence again. And then change your pinky only. All right? All right, now here's what I'm gonna do. Ready? And. All right, just practice that much. And your third finger again. All right, and then go on. Here's the one where you just use your pinky pinky over here and put your second finger over here. Good, one more time. Three, two, one, two over, three above, second finger over. Ooh, very cool. Now, where we just ended, do you see these two black keys over here? Play the white key right above that, okay? And your pinky is actually on the note that we need next. We're gonna play them together like this. Now the right hand is going to play these notes over here, one, two, three, so white key and two black keys, and then put your thumb under here right next to that, all the way to the fifth finger, and then come back down like that for those two notes. One more time from the E, and you're also playing an E in the left hand together, and go back to that E, look for the two black keys here, and do the whole thing again. Ah, so now you probably know what this is. Okay, let's start from the very beginning and put this together. Now what I want you to do is practice these four chords and get them really comfortable so you don't even have to think about moving them down. And remember to stay here between the third and the fourth and change that fifth finger, okay? Now, look for the two black keys here and let's look for the white key right beneath that. That's our C. Play it all together with your left hand. See what I just did? Now move down to the next one. One more. Now this one is the one where we change our fifth finger. We have four chord sequences like that. For the next four, all we're gonna do is gonna go back and forth between 
these two variations. One more time of these. Okay, now for this next portion, instead of playing it over here, see the two black keys? We're gonna go to the white key right above that and return this to this position here. Same progression, but now instead of playing here, we'll do the same thing here. And again, repeat the four and five. Now here is where we look for that A, the note between the two, the second and third black key up here. Second finger, third finger over, and then jump down to the E right next to the two black keys here. One more time. Now we go back to our theme, find that E over here. And then go back to the F, four and five, five, four, five, and then go back and finish the piece by going back to the first chord here. Last step, we're gonna use the pedal. The pedal on the far right if you're using three pedals on an acoustic piano, or the far right one if you have two pedals, or the only one if you only have one pedal. Here's what we're gonna do. See if you can follow along. We're gonna pedal once every four measures. And a one, keep it down. Now we're gonna change your pedal. Now move up here, change the pedal. Change the pedal. Change the pedal here. Change the pedal. Change the pedal. Change the pedal and then let that hold and ring at the end. How cool is that? You're gonna be the hit of the next holiday party. All right, enjoy.